I'm Julie Walters and I play Judy. I'm Rory Kinnear and I'm playing Nick. And I'm Helen McCrory and I'm playing Libby. My name is Stephen Beresford and I wrote The Last of the Housemans. Oh, I thought the script was, well, I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was really funny. It reminded me of Chekhov. I thought it was moving and touching and worked on lots of different levels. And just the sort of thing I like, it had everything in it, everything going for it. What sort of pinged out initially was, uh, was Stephen's adeptness uh, with language and uh, over the period of rehearsals what we've also begun to realise is his adeptness with emotional uh, truth. They are <laughs> savage to each other and um, and they're, they're very strong characters and they're at war all the time and I think all families on whatever level even if it's a tiny level even if it's the smallest domestic level um, all families contain the, the ingredients, just with the housemans, it happens to be at a particularly explosive level. There's a kernel of truth that we can all understand and we can all uh, relate to and think, thank goodness my family aren't quite like that, or, or yes, I recognise some, some of ourselves in that. The injustices you feel as children and as parents and the guilt, and the, uh, it's all there. So I think people will definitely relate to it. Very smart theatre director said to me, family plays eat plot. And it's true, they do. You, 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 you don't get away with what you can, something that you can do with other characters, which is they can tell each other things. I, I went to university, I drove to Austria, I tried to kill myself. The other person says, I know, or, you know, or no, you didn't. That's the disadvantage. The great advantage of family plays is that you can be more savage, more cruel. Um, the things that people say to each other are unbelievably horrible and then within minutes they're in each other's arms and weeping or laughing. He made the world that it was set in very vivid and very easy for us to access and understand very quickly by stories that he had because you can immediately understand you know what a motivation was and you either decide to go with it or not because it's not always um, useful to play somebody else's reality you've got to make it true to yourself. Stephen was also an actor as well so he knows what it's like to try and do a comedy in a room when the writer is scowling and frowning and not laughing at all. So he's been very generous at laughing at his own jokes, um, <laughs> suggesting that it was our interpretation that he was finding funny rather than his own craftsmanship. He knows the world so well and who these people are and where they came from that we're playing. And he's very funny and he's wonderful to have here anyway. Worked with Howard uh, twice before uh, and every time is uh, the same. You can't believe how far you are down the line by the end of week one and week two. Uh, because he likes to he likes to block everything, uh, the whole play it, through the course of week one. He's concentrating on what actually is playable and doable, and uh, and real rather than imposing ideas upon it. So you end up with choices that are that are right because they're true rather than they're an intellectual decision. Because he's forensically detailed. Um, and that's what he's following when he's watching rehearsals. He's following thought processes. And I can remember the last time I worked with him saying to him, after the first night, I've never felt so prepared to go on stage, ever, on a first night. And that's true. And I hope I feel like that this time.